Hi, welcome to three essential tie knots. We're gonna show you the easiest knots to tie for the most common necktie types out there. Off we go. For a skinny tie, you're gonna to wanna to use the simple knot. Step one, start with the wide end on your right and the seam facing out. Now the tip of the narrow end should rest just above your belly button. Step two, take the wide end behind the narrow end. Step three, bring it across the right to the front. Step four, take it up under the neck loop. Step five, bring it down through the small loop you just made in step four. Step six, pull the wide end down to tighten. In step seven, slide the knot up to adjust. And there you have it, a small knot that's perfect for a skinny tie. Give it a try. For a standard tie, you're probably gonna wanna use something like the half Windsor. Step one, start with the wide end of the tie on your right with the seam facing inward. The wide end should be longer than the narrow. Step two, cross the wide end horizontally in front of the narrow end to make an X just below your chin like this. Step three, take the wide end around and behind the narrow end. Step four, now you're gonna to wanna to carry the wide end over and through the opening to the other side. Step five, wrap the wide end across the front of the knot like this. Step six, pull the wide end under and through the neck opening again. Step seven, pull the wide end of the knot through the loop formed at the front. Step eight, tighten the knot by pulling down on the wide end. And that's it an average size knot that fits a standard width tie. Now give it a try. Now for a wide tie, you're gonna to wanna to use the full Windsor. Now in the first step, start with the wide end on your right, hanging about 12 centimeters below your belt. Step two, cross the wide end horizontally in front to make an X just below your chin. Step three, now bring the wide end up behind the narrow end and through the loop around your neck. In step four, carry it through the loop and pull the wide end all the way down on your left side, completing one circle around the narrow end. In step five, bring the wide end around behind the knot and pass it to the other side. In step six, loop the wide end over the top of the loop from the front and around your collar. You now have a full loop on either side of the narrow end. In step seven, you wanna bring the wide end across the front of the knot to form a band. Now here, it's important to pinch it to hold it in place. In step eight, bring the wide end up once more behind the knot on the left side. In step nine, pull the wide end through the band you're holding at the front. In step 10, pull the wide end all the way down and smooth out any creases in the knot. And there you go, a thick knot that matches a wide tie. We hope this video helps you on your journey into the world of neckties. And when you're really ready to step up that knot game, hit this link right here and take a deep dive into some knots that can really make a statement. And if you want a comprehensive list of gorgeous tie knots with step-by-step -step instructions and illustrations, follow the link below to our ultimate guide article. Until next time.